I'm Idris Goodwin, uh, playwright. I'm Mae Dralis, director. So uh, folks from American Revolutions put out a call uh, amongst writers for uh, plays that explored significant moments in American history around the environment, around the land. Um, I've always been fascinated by the West, um, about the railroads in particular, um, and when I was, and so my proposal was going to be something around that. And in my sort of preliminary research, uh, I happened upon this fact that the Department of War uh, funded uh, a few different survey teams comprised of soldiers, artists, and scientists uh, to go out into the West and study the landscape, study the people. Um, and, and write about it and take and, and draw illustrations of it uh, to assess the feasibility of a transcontinental railroad. Um, and so I got really um, fascinated in this idea of writing a prelude to the railroad because this happened in the, in the 1850s um, and then the Civil War happened and so the, the, the railroad project got put on hold so they could you know, fight this war. Um, but I was really interested in, in that time period and in these, these different survey teams and what they must have encountered and seen and you know, internal uh, strife and you know, any, any conflicts because you're learning this landscape, but then you know it's gonna get altered, right? So, um, so I just thought it was ripe for, for drama and so that was the initial seed. Um, and the play, that I ended up writing, uh, which we which we titled "The Way the Mountain Moved," um, is you know it's a sort of a fictionalized take based heavily on a lot of my research, you know, around a survey team um, that's exploring the area that is now known as Utah and um, some of the encounters they have and, and and what happens when they get they become separated and um, and when the land starts to starts to talk back to them starts to resist them um, and so yeah the play is sort of a uh, slightly magical uh, meditation on uh, the cost of progress. When the play begins, we're basically seeing all of these different sets of characters at a different moment of, of crisis or um, a moment where their journey has, has gone off course or they're stalled. And so we have uh, two, two African-American uh, characters who are married, um, but they were part of the Latter-day Saints who have just now arrived in the Salt Lake Valley and are setting up shop. And the question of slavery when it came to the Mormons is a very, is a very fuzzy one. Um, and so it's a basically about these two African-American characters who have decided to leave um, and, and, and stake out on their own, but they're lost in this, in this, in this wild that, that they've never really encountered before. And they encounter this scientist who was part of the survey team who's you know, become separated from his group and is trying to make his way to this government fort. And then we have, you know, other members of the survey team who encounter these, uh, this immigrant family who's been attacked and they're stalled and their wagons broken and they're, they're agreeing to help this immigrant family try to get to the next step. And, you know, there are a uh, few different, you know, indigenous tribes in the area who are sort of negotiating their own affiliations with helping these newcomers and, you know, and, and what it means to the future of their, of their, of their people. Um, and so it is this sort of, um, we, we sort of jump around between multiple characters and kind of return to them and, and they cross paths and they intersect and, you know, and the question is, what do we do next? Where do we go next? You know, as a microcosm of the whole nation, um, they're, but they're dealing in a much more immediate way, which is like, if we go this way, we will live. If this, <laughs> this way, we could die, but we could also maybe die if we go this way, you know, um, and so who's, who's right, who's, whose faith is, is pushing them in what direction and, you know, that's where all of the drama comes from. Uh, essentially, like the the convergence of all of these different tribes, as we've been calling them, which is just these different um, uh, uh, groups of people that are suddenly in um, that are setting suddenly in conflict with one another. Um, it's it appeals to me as a director because it is um, a chance for us to see the very diversity of America. This is really what the, the what our roots are. You know, we, when we talk about what um, you know the the Western expansion was, we have an idea of of uh, of westerns and that that great myth. And what this play brings to light is exactly the hierarchies that were involved at this point. That the many different people. Uh, that inhabited America to make it what it is, and um, it's a it's a great reminder of uh, our roots, 
And so it's always exciting to me to bring these, a different perspective on history to teach us again and turn it over and examine history again um, and, uh, uh, and, and bring it out for discussion. The West um, has played such a huge part in the American character. You know, um, Westerns in particular as a genre are so beloved all over the world, you know, and um, it's, it's very much a part of who we are. Um, it represents the frontier, you know, the new beginning, you know, the pioneer spirit, all of this kind of stuff, the gold rush, all of these important parts of our history went into really defining who we are as these sort of very enterprising, fiercely independent, often wrong-headed, <laughs> you know, look before we leap, you know, type of type of people. And so for me, you know, West, we, we often don't think of Westerns uh, as historical dramas, but they are. All Westerns are historical dramas, and the land itself plays such a huge part in defining what that is. The, the, the way that we communed with, challenged, grew to understood the land itself helped define the people, you know. And so um, uh, in this play, I always wanted to make sure the land was present because that's that there's a conflict there too, which is like the land is very difficult and treacherous and complicated, much like the politics are. Um, and um, and, and the, to me, there's a metaphor in um, people trying to figure out, like, how do we how do we build something that can go through all of these mountains and rivers and you know what I mean terrains and how do we how do we move through that um, and but also are we moving through it or are we moving with it and and that's kind of the the thematic question for me at least. There's so much optimism when we think about the West and the Great Expansion, and I think that really characterizes the American spirit. There's such a great optimism about what we can do, what we can overcome. Um, and there's also a, uh, what the play deals with and grapples with is the idea of possession, um, because that is a very Western idea, you know, and it doesn't um, describe what other, you know, the, the Paiute characters, what they believe um, about ownership. And so it really calls that into question, what um, uh, the over-consumerism, you know, that they just kind of, uh, the, 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 how the people on this, some of them just feel like it's theirs to have um, and that possession. And, um, and, and what I love about this play is that the land sort of fights back that the decisions that are made in this play have really deep running consequences on the land, on the people, how we live, on a country and identity. And all of those questions are into play in this. Um, but a uh, consequence of how you push your values uh, upon others and what that yields for the society, you know, that's eventually created, you know, how you view, um, possession, ownership, how you view other people of other races, um, uh, how you uh, view family, what you're, who your gods are, um, they, they, how you choose to exist is really formulating um, what we will call America. And so the consequence of that, I think, is something that um, I want people to think about you know, what their actions are and how they, um, how they, how they choose in their daily existence in these, um, uh, you know, how they, how they, how they choose to own what they choose to buy, what they, you know, how, the, how they, uh, choose to treat other people in their community, um, will have long-term consequences. I mean, what I love about history plays is that, you know, engaging with history in general is that you're always going there to, to understand, you know, how do we get to where we are, what still remains, you know, what's changed, but what still remains, and what do we need to do? What do we owe, uh, you know, what do we owe the next generation, you know, um, what do we owe the next generation, you know, based on, on, on uh, what's been done?